What's up people, this is TechnoCube and you are watching Basics of C Sharp. Well, in this session we'll understand how to map a data into the text box when we select a specific ID into the combo box. So I'll give you, I'll show you actually the demo application that what exactly we're gonna do in the end of this video. Okay, so this is my demo application which says I have ID that is mapped with the database. You can see I have three IDs here, one, two and three, which is there in the database. So when I select one, and then when I click on this button show data and text box, you will see the specific data of name and city is being mapped into the text box. Now when I select two, it shows when I click on this show data and text box, then it shows the specific entries of name and city of the second ID. When I select three, then it will show the specific, you know, name and city of that third uh, identity. Okay, so now you are okay. Now you, you, sh you had seen this that we're gonna, uh, you know, do something like this. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, so I'll create one new project here. File and then new. Or let me just control shift N and then Windows form application and give whatever the suitable name you want to give. Hit okay. You need one blank form. So I have this blank form. You need a database connection. So I click on add new item and then go to data and then service based database i hope you already know the steps and if you uh, if you didn't know then you please go through my previous videos you can have a good reference there okay so right now i have this database one.mdf here and also in my service uh, sorry server explorer i have that where is that so i have this service explorer and i have this uh, database one.mdf so let's create one table there add new table and then give id ID and then integer, then give name and then worker, then city, then worker. Okay, then give a primary key to the ID and then change identity specification for the ID column. Make it yes and save the table tbl underscore data. Okay, so this is done. Now go to your design part and create the design. So, first of all, I need one combo box for the ID. So I'll also drag and drop one label here to show that it is ID. So I'll make ID here and then I need one button. Button is going to be having uh, one text that says show the show data in text box. Okay. Now I need text boxes, so I'll drag and drop here two text boxes, one for name, another for city. So I just drag and drop here. I need the label to show that it is name and then it is for city. So I just pinned here and so this ID is going to be changed as name and then this ID is going to be changed as city. I hope this is clear somehow because this is not so hard. Okay, now first thing, uh, that we need to do here is we need to map this combo box with our uh, you know uh, the table entries here right so you go to the server explorer and then uh, see there are three columns id name and city and this is the table name so i'll right click on that and show table data so first of all we will fill this data table with with some dummy entries so the first entry is john and then it's coming from mumbai then we have smith is coming with Chennai and we have Paul oh, Paul was coming from Kolkata okay so these are the entries we had seen so now we are completely done with our database and now uh, we need to okay so let, let's go to the show table data so we need to map these IDs one two three here in my combo box right so the first thing is that so what I'm gonna do here is basically I create the event that is form load event so whenever the form gets loaded the IDs gets you know embedded or gets mapped inside this combo box so I'll double click on this form it will generate the form load event I resize it and now it's okay so the first thing that we need to do here is we need to import one namespace that is using system dot data dot SQL client second step is we need to uh, you know copy the uh, what do you call that connection string so right click on this database and go to the properties and select this connection string copy copy it from there and here in the form lot event you write SQL connection con 
equals to new SQL connection and just paste it. Done. Then do some changes as this. Remove this double quotes from here and remove this double quotes from here. Done. Next step is you need to write SQL command where we embed our query cmd equals to new SQL command and you will say here select everything from tbl underscore data that is your table name then pass the connection object and then we have sql data adapter that is a bridge i hope you already know this and then pass the command object then when I, what i need is a empty data table new data table and then we need to fill this data table with our sql data adapter object so i'll pass that sorry dd and then what i need is a combo box bind here so uh, there are two fields one is display member and one is a value member so to display that combo box one dot display member i need to pass my id here because i need to show that id right then what else i need i need a value member so combo box one dot value oh dot value member then it is id and then i need to bind it so the data source that i gonna uh, that is there is dt so data source dt because all data right now is with this object this dt object so i pass that dt object to my combo box so now if you see here when i run this application you see when the form gets loaded all ids is going to be you know here you see one two and three okay but now when i click on this show data in text box this is not going to work because we haven't implemented that okay so now the second step is you know fill our text boxes what i'm gonna do is i double click on this button show data in text box and then i'll make my connection string as global connection string i, I cut it from here and i paste it over here so i don't need to write it again okay so next thing is what are you gonna do here ah what's the problem the problem is oh yeah oh i'm so sorry i need i need to cut it from here i need to paste it here oh i'm so sorry okay now this this is okay completely okay now okay now the next step is sql command here give sql command cmd equals to new sql command and just uh, pass the query here so select uh, star from tbl underscore data that is your table name where id where id equals to and then pass the combo box one dot text and then this symbol then this symbol this is kudos okay okay now pass the connection object and then just close it okay now what we're gonna do here is actually this is oh here oh I'm so sorry actually it has to be one two and three okay now next thing is we need to pass here next thing is we need to write SQL data adapter so I'll write SQL data adapter as the a equals to new sql data adapter and i pass my command object there then sta dot dot fill a command oh sd dot fill and then dt oh i haven't take the data table right so i need to take the data table dt equals to new data table and then i pass it over here dt okay so the next thing is I'll make an if condition here and it, it will work whenever you know uh, uh, it will count the data rows uh, in the data table so I'll pass that condition dt dot rows dot count and if it is greater than zero then it will work then I'll pass for loop here that will uh, continue work until this count of data rows gets completed data dt dot rows dot count and inside that I need to map my text boxes right so I have text box one dot text that has to be mapped from dt dot rows and give the integer index so I'll pass my i here that is the this one this i 
and then again I pass the data column you can see here data column so which column should I pass I have three columns ID name and city uh, but I pass here because ID is already mapped I'm left with two columns that is name and city so the first column that I that, I, that I'm going to map is name and then two string and then again I copy this and I paste it for the text box text box 2 I change this city okay so now this is okay this is completely you know fine now let's see if this is working or not so when I run this application we're gonna see I have one and I, when I click on this show data in text box you will see the entry is going to be loaded from the data table so when I go to this table and show table data and you will see here that it is perfectly mapping one John and Mumbai so one John and Mumbai then second so let's change the ID here to and when I click on the show data and text box you will see two Smith and Chennai that is two then Smith and Chennai so this is perfectly working I hope you understand it what is the intention of this application and maybe somehow this application you know uh, going to help in your project uh, I'm really really thankful for listening to me and please subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for listening to me.